Welcome to our continued discussion. And uh, we are approaching Christmas. And Christmas is one of the most celebrated uh, uh, festival in the world. And I uh, wanted to take a look at the history of the origin of Christmas. And many people continue to ask, is, is, is it a pagan or religious festival? It is celebrated with most of the people in the world as the birth of Jesus Christ. And because now we are in the season of uh, uh, Christmas, which is coming in a few days, and I, I thought I should take some time to talk about it. Now, the first question, is, is Christmas the birth of Jesus Christ? Huh. Many people say no. Just imagine, Jesus was born when the shepherds were taking care of animals outside, uh, which could have been in summer in the Middle East. As we understand the weather, December is called winter. So there was no way that the shepherds could have been out taking care of the, the sheep outside. It is believed that Jesus, uh, during that time, it might have been somewhere uh, in the summer up to maybe end of September, before the rains come according to the seasons. So really, from that standpoint, it's not really true that uh, uh, it was a birth of Jesus. So in any way uh, it will not be seen and yet Jesus himself did not celebrate his uh, birthday so when how did they how did they arrive at uh, December 25th actually this December 25th uh, before before Christ in the early century December 25th was a celebration of, of one prophet called Mitra of the Persian cult, which was called Mitrism. The cult was brought to Rome by the Roman regions, and then he, the, the established, he, it was established by the, them in Rome. So it was from Persia that this Mitrism came. And uh, Mitra florized before Christianity. And as it florized, there were so many people who were converted to Mithraism. Actually, that all of these doctrines of celibacy, of having the sacrament, and all of the, the features. And this religion, why it was a cult, they were celebrating, they were worshipping under caves. But it had really organized, and it had so many people. So this religion, the Mitra, because his members were so many and the Mitra was believed to be the son of God. But when he died, the followers were so shaken, they were disappointed. They said, how can uh, the son of God die? So then after many agonious times, then a new explanation came from his members. No, Mitra did not die. He went to the transition world called purgatory. They introduced a transition world because there it, it was hell and heaven. But now they brought another transition world, purgatory. Where in purgatory, that is where he went to direct the followers of Mitra when they die, he will direct them to heaven and those who are not uh, members, they will go to hell. Then they survived that. Now here comes Christianity. When the, the Christian movement came, it was so strong that uh, Mitra could not stand it. The followers could not stand it because everybody was converting to Christianity. And what did the leaders do because they lost members? They also joined Christianity. When they came to Christianity, because they were great leaders who knew how to organize religion and the Christianity was a new religion, and guess who became great leaders? The leaders from Mitra. 
and with them they came all of their doctrines. That is when actually they, they came blinded people and said, why can't we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ as December 25th? Really, December 25th was the birth of Mitra. So this was a pagan religion, and then they started celebrating Christianity. Nobody actually knows. Nobody actually knows uh, the year they started uh, celebrating because uh, even in the Catholic Encyclopedia, uh, the Catholic Encyclopedia in 1911, this is what it says. Christmas was not among the earliest festivals of the church. The first even of the festival was from Egypt. It must have come from Egypt. Encyclopedia Americana in 1856 edition quotes this. Christmas was not observed in the first centuries of the Christian church. Since the Christian usage in general was to celebrate the death of remarkable persons rather than their birth. A feast was a surprise memory of this event, Christ's father in the 4th century. In the 50th century, the Western Church ordered the feast to be celebrated forever on the day of the Mitraic, Mitraic rites of, of, the, of the church, of the birth of the sun and the cross of the Santunaria. Have you listened now? It is the 50th century. You know, the, the, this encyclopedia clearly said that even the Catholic encyclopedia, there was no festival. So this festival came later in the 50th century. That is after most of the Western places have been worshipped. And then they now started celebrating the day of Mitraic rites. They followed the Mitraic rites. So you can see that uh, Christianity had undergone a lot of change and there was a lot of uh, traditions which came in. It's, it's always good because like now I'm not saying that to tell you not to celebrate Christmas because I tell you I know this would be much controversial because when you see the shopping when you see all the things people are doing about it but it's always good to ponder and ask yourself is really Christi uh, Christmas a, a part of Jesus Christ no so with with, uh, with all this in the as, as we have seen Actually, in, in, in Rome, where actually the first Christian tribe, it was end year celebration. It was part of history in all celebration for it was time to give thanks to God for seeing them through the year. I mean, the, the Romans celebrated the Santonaria, the festival of Saturn. Now, uh, that was the god of harvest between December 17 and 20, 23rd. They were celebrating that. Even the Jews celebrated 80 days festival of life during the same season before the birth of Jesus Christ. Regardless, there were celebrations. And it's always good to celebrate. I mean, I don't have the problem because that is the end of the circle. But why do we have to say that that was the birth of Jesus Christ? Definitely it was not. But the world over, people celebrate and year celebration are, are on. And it's my take now it's your choice. I'm not trying to say uh, Christmas is bad, but let us celebrate it with the right motive. Let us not add things. We have to agree Jesus wasn't born that time. But then, to give thanks at the end of the year, and I would wish you to reflect at the end of the year, what are you celebrating? You could thank God for seeing you through the year. But let us not confuse this to mean that uh, it is the birth of Jesus Christ. Jesus never celebrated his birthday. And most Christians, as we have seen, they celebrate the people when they die, not when they were, they were born. But you can say do something. Give thanks. Help people. Appreciate that God has given you this opportunity to be where you are now. So with this, it doesn't mean that you cannot celebrate Christmas. But let us not miss a point. Let us not just focus that, oh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's Christianity, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. We, the celebration is throughout over and it has been ingrained in us. But let us not just focus that, let us do the work of charity 
uh, and help other people who are suffering. Let us appreciate what, what God has done for us. And uh, with this, I hope now you understand clearly that it may not have the religious context in it. Let us be, call it the end year celebration and not the birth of Jesus Christ. Thank you.